Egan. Wow. Quiet on set. Wow. And action. Rolling and cut. Print. Check the gate. Congratulations. You just went to film school. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I really wanted to make it pop. And so when you're driving down the street, your brain has to take a double take to decide whether it's 2D or 3D. It looks to me like it's from an old cartoon. The wheels spin. And... Ooh. It's original. It's fun. <laughs> it's poppy. Great job. Great job, Ian. Thank you. Matt. Approach with caution. No swimming allowed. It's a junk male eating tiger shark. This is so <laughs> playful. Like the bite mark, this feels like the fun house on the block. I'm giving you a huge wow factor. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Rebecca. Rebecca. The sun is shining. If I saw this on the street, I would think, wow, it's very exuberant, very welcoming, the flashing lights. That's so great because it's so easy for someone at home to get those little fairy lights mm -hmm. and just illuminate something and make it a little more festive. I think you really nailed it. Thank you. I'm going to dive in with a museum term. Uh, this is cute as hell. <laughs> <laughs> this would catch my eye for sure. Check it out. So on Etsy, paper flowers are super popular because people they are trying to be sustainable. It's a really nice way to present a bouquet. And you're eyeballing. Let's talk about your eyeballing. Yeah, that was You like, can tell so me off. they're so <laughs> off that it looks intentional. It's kind of like the eye is like doing like a little eyebrow lift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So cool. Wow. That's, a, that's a rad magic trick, which is a technical term. <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm driving down Smith Street, is this supposed to represent Jesse, the artist who lives here? Yeah, I think so. I will say to our audience, please don't bother Jesse on Smith Street. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to give out her actual address. <laughs> please respect her privacy. <laughs> the originality is just off the charts, yeah. as usual. It's a Jesse moment. Mm -hmm. um, my one little nitpick is, see how this is very much like a tube coming out of mm -hmm. here? If the paint was like, it would feel more like the paint was pouring. Yeah, I agree completely. This is an abyssal sub with a kind of tentacles pulling it down into the depth. It's super original. I really like your concept. And I, I like that so far, no one else has flipped the mailbox on the other side. It still opens. It works like a mailbox. They oh, stay open. Oh, wow. Wait, are these the um, eyes. just flashlights They're for just eyes? flashlights. I have a question. Sure. Was the non-paint on the back, was that intentional? There was going to be a tail section that went off the back with a motor that slowly turned to kind of okay. move the propeller. But, uh, Don't I'm getting tell better them what you management. didn't do. <laughs> Don't tell him that. I, I didn't. I thought it was perfect, you know? <laughs> and that's why I didn't put those elements on. It's crazy that you did exactly the amount of work you wanted to in the yeah, length of right time allotted, hours. yeah. <laughs> Rock and roll. If I was your postman, I would screech my tires. I came to deliver your mail. <laughs> and I gave him uh, options on, on how to sort my mail. When you put it in the bill slot. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> it sends it straight to accounting. That's pretty Man cool. Man, Floyd, your mailbox shreds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the details of the boombox on the sides. Your flames are like killer. It's the mailbox that would make your Aunt Myrtle roll her eyes. She'd be like, stay away from that bad boy. <laughs> that lives at 143. <laughs> Hello, Justine. Whoa. How did you do this so fast? <laughs> I don't know. I, I work big to small. Then I save the details until the last 20 minutes, and I just <laughs> Blackout. So. <laughs> this is like a retired captain's dream mailbox. Yours have so much delicacy and finesse. You create something stylized and beautiful and very considered, every aspect of it. You knock it out of the park. Hi, Lily. Hi. Wow. There's something so festive that's added with the balloons. It makes it seem like your house is a party house. Speaking of, would you like to open the mailbox? Oh, Amy. Yeah. yeah. All right. What's in the mailbox? Oh! oh party's in the mailbox. Oh, it's, a, it's a heart balloon. Yes. Heart oh. balloon. The four heart balloons for us, we just have a lot of love, and we try to be fun with our kids. 
The clarity on your miniatures, I've got to hand it to you, Lily. I'm also blown away by the cedar shake shingles. It's yep. a really nice detail. And from here, they look weatherproof. <laughs> they totally are. This is a wow. It Thank is. Thank you. Can I just say something? I hate letting go of people. Yeah. What if someone refuses to go? We can't physically push them out, right? No. Squatter's rights. Great work, makers. I'm happy to see nobody mailed it in for this challenge. But now it is time for the judges to deliver the results. You did such an incredible job today that all of your mailboxes are now featured on Etsy.com. Wow. Congratulations. Oh. That's awesome. This week was a really transformational moment. You guys took generic, boring mailboxes and transformed them into something truly magical. And the winner of this Mastercraft challenge is... Lily. <laughs> Lily, your concept was really original. You married the sort of more careful, meticulous Lily with the playful, colorful Lily. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Lily, come up and get your patch. You have a patch now. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so excited that I won my first patch. The reason I came on here was to show my kids that you can work really hard for anything, no matter what your circumstances are. I miss them so much, but I know that they're cheering me on from home.